Good evening and welcome to the Channel Studios here in London with your international news around the world in five. North Korea has released photographs which it said were taken from its most powerful missile launch in five years. According to the state news agency KCNA, it is the first time a nuclear-capable missile of that size has been launched since 2017. The unusual pictures taken from space show parts of the Korean peninsula and surrounding areas. Pyongyang confirmed it had tested a Hwasong-12 intermediate-range ballistic missile. At its full power, it can travel thousands of miles, putting areas like the US territory of Guam within striking distance. Two police officers have been shot dead in western Germany during a routine traffic stop. Police have closed the road in the Kussel district in Rhineland-Palatinate, a state on the French border. A 29-year-old male officer and a 24-year-old female officer were shot dead at the scene. Police have launched a manhunt. Roads in the area remain closed and authorities have urged people not to pick up hitchhikers, saying at least one suspect is armed. At least 19 people have died in floods and landslides caused by torrential rains in the Brazilian state of Sao Paulo. Pictures show whole roads underwater, while about 500 families have been left homeless. Sao Paulo's governor, Jao Doria, has released emergency funds after surveying the flooded areas by air. Britain's Defence Minister Ben Wallace has said it was important to defuse the Ukraine-Russia crisis as a war would not only mean human casualties, but would also lead to greater instability, higher fuel prices and migrant flows. I think it's important when it comes to military deployment that we signal to President Putin that the very thing he fears, which is more NATO uh, closer to Russia, would be a consequence of a strategic error of invading a sovereign country such as Ukraine. Cyprus's highest court has overturned the conviction of a British woman found guilty by a lower court of faking a claim that she was gang-raped on the island in 2019. Here seen arriving at court in January 2020, the woman was given a four-month suspended prison sentence for falsely accusing several Israeli men of raping her. The woman said she withdrew her complaint against the men while she was under duress after hours of police questioning and without a lawyer present or offered. The British government said after her conviction it had numerous concerns about the judicial process. South Africa's former president, Jacob Zuma, has appeared in court to face a long-standing corruption trial regarding a $2 billion government arms deal. His lawyers had argued that the lead state prosecutor, Billy Downer, should be removed from the case, claiming that Downer was biased and his involvement would result in Zuma not getting a fair trial. Zuma is accused of taking bribes from French company Tails and also faces 16 counts of fraud, corruption and racketeering. At least nine people have died and several more have been injured after a bomb attack in northern Kenya on a public commuter van locally known as Matutu. Pictures from local journalists showed mangled wreckage of the minivan that appears to have been blown up after running over an improvised explosive device. The Matatu was travelling towards Mandera, a town in the border area which has been regularly targeted by militant attacks. No one has taken responsibility so far. A painting by the German expressionist Franz Marc that was recently restored from a German museum to the heirs of its original Jewish owners will be sold at auction next month. Marc's 1913 painting called Foxes will hit the block on March the 1st. It is estimated to fetch around $46.8 million, nearly double the artist's current auction record of $24 million. And finally, millions of people across the globe are celebrating Chinese New Year, which is the year of the tiger. People traditionally wear red, visit family and friends, and eat traditional Chinese food, while there's also dancing with model dragons often making an appearance too. Also known as Lunar New Year or Spring Festival, it runs from Tuesday, February the 1st to February the 15th. More than 2 billion people celebrate the festival worldwide. It is a national holiday in countries including Indonesia, Vietnam, South Korea, Malaysia, North Korea and Taiwan. And that's your international news around the world in five. Now back to the Channel Studios in Lagos.